Hello and welcome to today's ServiceNow Express Forum session where we're going to look into importing data into ServiceNow. So I'm going to begin by opening up my ServiceNow Express instance logged in as a system administrator and let's talk about and take a look at how we import our outside data into ServiceNow. So ServiceNow can take in an XLS file as it's importing its data. So maybe we want to take a look at computers and import computers that our outside tool has discovered. So the first thing you'll do is go on any of those columns there, those column titles, and right click and select import. You're then going to go ahead and select either to insert or update your files. Maybe since these are new computers, I'll go ahead and pick insert. You'll then notice that you have the option to create an Excel template. So I simply need to select create Excel template and go ahead and download that new list. So I can open that up and what we'll see is you're we'll going to be given sort of a basic instruction set for exactly how to import that data into ServiceNow. What we'll notice is across row 1 we have our complete list of column titles. So these column titles map to field you have on that same table you're importing into in ServiceNow. So for this computer CMDBCI table, for example, we'll notice that we have all these fields from our computer CIs, the CDs, the CD speed, CPU count, and so on. It's got our complete list of what we have the option to import into. So the first thing I'm going to note about importing your data is you need to make sure that the title you have or the column title maps to the actual ServiceNow field name. So what that means is maybe your discovery uh, solution that you're using has a field named operating system path. Well in ServiceNow it's called operating system domain. So in this case you're gonna have to go ahead and rename that column title to make sure it maps to the proper name in ServiceNow otherwise the mapping is not gonna work. The second thing I'm going to note is if your field you're mapping into, you have to note the field type. So for example, location here. This is actually a reference to the location table in ServiceNow, meaning if I just put ABC or 123 and these aren't valid location references, ServiceNow is just going to leave that field blank. And the same applies for choice fields. So maybe you have a list of choices for what kind of, and let's take a look at it actually within our system. So let's go back to asset configuration, our computers, and just open a computer record up here. So our example, operating system. As you can see here, we have a select choices for the operating system, meaning when we're importing data in and the field you're mapping to is a choice field, you're going to have to make sure that the data that's importing is a valid choice selection otherwise it's going to be left blank. So in our example for maybe we want to import some new computers and we have that operating system field. Well when we go ahead and we go in to actually populate that OS field there so let me go ahead and find it here not our OS address our OS domain our operating system exactly that field there. So we can come here to start importing XLS and that's where we'll note it. So here, operating system, you know, could be one of these many selections, Lion, SunOS, Windows. So if we go ahead and say, you know, maybe we're using uh, some sort of Linux distribution that's maybe uh, Linux and it's a proprietary, we'll just put a random number here, 2.31. So although that may be a valid reference and it may be a valid number, if it doesn't map to an actual choice field here in ServiceNow, it's not going to be able to go across. It'll be left just as blank. So two key things to remember while you're importing data. Item number one, make sure that your column titles map to the field names in ServiceNow. Item number two, make sure that the value of what you're putting in matches the same field type as we're expecting here in ServiceNow. For example, retirement date or warranty expiration. These are date fields. If we put in a string, that's not going to really make any sense in the system and it'll be converted to a random date here in the system. 
Additionally, though, for majority of the fields, if they're simple string fields, such as an asset tag or a name or a serial number, you can very easily import in any bit of information there. So if you want a quick way to create new fields in ServiceNow that you want to import into that you have existing, I would suggest just create new fields on that ServiceNow side. So here, go into Personalize, Form Design, and just go ahead and select the field type string. And just click and drag string over, and then name it to whatever it is. So maybe this is our computer, our computer value 777. You're just a random field, but the idea, the idea being then is if our discovered solution or the data we're importing, if we have a title field computer value 777, now we can import that data in no matter what because the string field is a very easy sort of catch-all kind of field you can use that'll accept that data. So in our case, however, why don't we take a look at now importing a sample set of data. So that's our predefined list and in interest of time, I'm just going to bring up a new list of computers that I've got here in my system. So I'm going to go ahead and open Excel and I'm going to go ahead and open a workbook I have got here for a CMDBs we have on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and search in for that and let's see if I can find my CMDB computer list and we can see here that we have it in our system. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this XLS file. So remember it has to be an XLS not XLSX and in this example we're uploading a number of computers with names, manufacturers, operating systems and CPU speeds. So all these fields are going to have to be mapping properly. So manufacturer this is going to a reference field so I need to know that these manufacturers are actually manufacturers that I can reference. At the same time, the operating system, as we talked about earlier, that's a choice field. So I got to make sure that these texts I have map to proper choices. And finally, CPU speed, that seems to be just to be a number that we can import into, so that'll be fine as well. So let's go back to our computer list and do a right click and simply press import. I'm going to select insert again, and let me choose that file then that I've got in my system for that CMDB of computers. I'm going to go ahead and select open and upload and preview and what you'll see is just like that we've taken our data from XLS and we've now moved it into ServiceNow. So you could see the CPU speeds mapped fine, the manufacturers mapped fine, the names and operating systems all came into my system without an error. So if you do have any issues this sort of staging table here is where you would see those. But otherwise, that's how easy it is to import anywhere in ServiceNow, be it your knowledge base, be it past incidents or problems or other legacy tickets and data. But all in all, the XLS with mapping those columns and making sure your field types are proper is the easy way to get your outside data into ServiceNow. I hope this has been a helpful session and once again, if you have any questions or comments or future topics you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave those in the responses and comments below.